Actually, I seen him every single day, and I stopped the car and say, Hey, Arlindo, how you doing? He goes, Ah, oh, hot person. God bless you. That's, that's his way. And that's his way to everybody. In Titanic, there's people that would come in and just take your cans if they were on the side. He used to, you know, come by up and I'd go in my basement and give him a bag of cans because he was such a nice guy. You know, and every time you gave him something, he'd always look up into the sky and thank God for it. He's, if he's hungry, we'll, we'll give him food. Sometimes he likes his coffee, we give him coffee and it's not someone like that. And, you know, he was a very good friend of us. And I used to see him every day. I seen him that morning. You know, it was sad. My son ran from outside and came and says, Papa, this, that guy that, um, that helps you work around the house, that does the work here around the house, is outside bleeding. So we all grabbed grab our jacket, we ran outside, and when we ran outside, I found the old man, Arlindo. When we went outside, we saw a big puddle of blood, and we all kind of like, you know, jumped back a little bit, and we was like, oh man, he bled from all that just by falling? And it was like, wow, that's, that's crazy. And then we was looking, it was like, his whole face was just all tore up. It was like, yo, that wasn't just by falling. And then the police cruiser pulled up, and then looked at the dude and said, there's another shot victim. We looked at it and was like, shot? He got shot? And then she's like, yeah, there's two more up there. And we all looked up and we was like, oh my God. I was trying to help him out and all the way until I, you know, he started shaking, he started vibrating and then uh, try to deal with him to see if he would make it by the time the first ambulance came. And then when the ambulance got to, to us, <coughs> that they lean him, twist him around to put him on the, on the carriage, he, he dropped it. And then that's, that was the end of it. Actually, nothing like that, or even closer, go, you know, happens here before. We've been living here for 16 years, going to 17. We never hear, or it's a school zone, you know. I hear people saying it's wrong place, wrong. I said, well, that was my home. It happened right in front of my door. So he turned around me, me in my house, that's the wrong place? Well, some people look at it the wrong way. Yeah, that's just going to be playing in my head for the rest of my life.